stop hunting after miracles. Take responsibility of what triggers miracles. Take responsibility of what triggers miracles. Applied revelation will always engender supernatural manifestations. Applied revelation will also always trigger supernatural manifestations. Applied revelation will always trigger supernatural manifestations. Applied revelation will always trigger supernatural manifestations. In my quest to know what makes marriage work, I had a visitation in November before the year we got married, and later to me seven keys that guarantee each free marriage. Ah. I never read in the book each free marriage. I read the books, they were not answering my questions. There were not many books that time. The books that we had were problem solving books. How to solve problems when you are fighting, who to call. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, I'm not a fighter. Why am I not married? Will I now start fighting and sign up that, okay, in fighting and in not fighting? I signed off for what he showed me. I was too confident in his covenant. Heading for his free marriage without any apprehension. Not that I was married before and I had some experience and so we can apply it, No. Light is sweet. Light is sweet. But the light you won't walk in holds no value for you. It is the walking in the light that makes it valuable. Applied insight is the mystery behind miracles. Applied, if you watch every testimony share, they did something that God confirms in the testimony. They did something. They were not sitting down somewhere. They, uh, they did something. They did the right thing as revealed to them from scriptures. And God stepped in to confirm it. Nobody goes forward sitting down. No. You go forward taking steps. Nobody goes forward sitting down. You go forward taking steps. You have sat down enough. Now take steps. You have sat down enough. Now take steps. You have sat down enough, now take steps. You have sat down enough, now take steps. Take scriptural steps. Line up with the terms of the covenant on the subject of interest to you. Line up. Line up. Line up. What a night. That's how the shift applies to you and me. We used to wait. Not only that we were, we were wasting, we were wasting. I could still be waiting till now to see prosperity. I could wait like that for life. Some are waiting forever. They are just waiting. They are just waiting. They are just waiting. They say, I'm waiting on God, or I'm waiting for God. They are just waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And wasting without knowing. I'm wasting without knowing. You know what he said? Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 7. The word says, Remember them which have the rule over you, whose faith follows. Knowing the outcome of their faith. Are you interested? Follow, my friend. Follow. 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 No one here will live in debt for their children. No one here will withdraw their children from school. You won't sell your house to eat. Yeah. You won't sell your car for bread. Yeah. 
No one will end up a beggar tomorrow. Amen. By committing to the covenant of giving and receiving. By committing to it, not wishing to commit to it. Commit to it. That's the way it works. My prayer for everyone here tonight is that we'll get out of here to take responsibility. It is taking covenant responsibility that makes commanders in the kingdom. Taking covenant responsibility makes commanders in the kingdom. It makes commanders in the kingdom. It makes commanders in the kingdom. We saw some wonders when we were building this place, or God was building, and we were fronting for him. They would tell me they need 40 million tomorrow. I said, go ahead. What are you going to do to tomorrow? I'm a 